G'day everyone, Blake here with another video and today I want to talk about a really important tool that you might want to consider to have in your fish room. One that's often overlooked and always controversial. So let's jump straight into the video and talk about what's inside this little box. Okay, so for today's video, our friends at Aquarium Universe have helped me out. I asked them to send me one of these bad boys here. This is the Blue Planet UView 24 Watt UV Sterilizer. Uh, as always, I'm at no obligation to say anything. This is all my opinion and all of that good stuff. Now, you probably also see some canister filters have UV sterilizers that you can turn off and on if you want to use them. Uh, this guy is just a standalone UV sterilizer. So I'll talk about the pros and cons as we get into it and I'll do my best to clarify why you might want to get these, why I think they're pretty handy to have and uh, what they actually do. So to get started, how it works is a UV sterilizer has a UV bulb usually within a casing. Water moves through it and passes by this UV light which is essentially radiation and it can either um, destroy the cell wall of whatever the thing is that's moving past that light or in some cases even destroy the actual RNA or DNA. I think that's how it works, although I'm not a chemist, but my Google degree did tell me that. Anyway, what we, what we want to know is you're going to want something that's going to be powerful enough to get all of your water volume through a pump. For example, if you've got a 20,000 litre or gallon aquarium, a tiny little UV sterilizer isn't going to do very much at all because by the time the water gets through it, it has spent probably the next week circling around before it gets to it again. Now why exactly do we want our aquarium water passing through something such as this? So UV sterilizers are going to help us with anything whilst it's in the water column. UV sterilizers do absolutely nothing for algae that's already present in the aquarium, for fish that are already sick or anything like that. But what it does do is, is kind of acts as a preventative measure. So while those algal spores are in your water, while those ick parasites are floating around waiting to attach to a host, which is usually a stressed out fish, or why any of the other bacterial issues are present in your actual water, that's where a UV sterilizer is gonna help. So what you wanna do is really put one of these on if your fish are about to go through some stress, have just gone through some stress, or maybe you're setting up a new aquarium and you think that algae is gonna become a problem down the track. For that reason, I think a lot of people who give these guys a go without realizing exactly what they do, they start to say that, oh, they don't work, my tank still looks like a bomb site, my fish is still sick or dead, and that did basically nothing. And the problem I think that a lot of people have with that is just, yeah, a misunderstanding of exactly what it's trying to achieve. You know, a bicycle is a great mode of transport, but if you're trying to travel across the country, well, of course, it's not really gonna be that helpful for you. Where I think UV sterilizers really come into their own are uh, things like overstocked uh, African cichlid tanks, maybe where there's lots and lots of bullying aggression. There's always open wounds, there's always things that are gonna be attacked or stressed. And that's where something like this can get rid of those um, spores and uh, microbes and things out of the water column before they attach to your fish, spread around and become a big issue. Of course, if you are experiencing some green water in your aquarium, which I've done videos on before, UV sterilizers are gonna be the absolute best thing for treating that. If you've got cloudy water, this can also really help with that, uh, depending on what the reason for the cloudiness is. But uh, if you've got a UV sterilizer, which is something that I recommend, it's so easy to just drop it in and uh, let it run. It's not gonna hurt any fish. It's not gonna do any damage to anything whatsoever and uh, it's just a great one. Rather than dumping bucket loads of chemicals in for no real problem, just trying to work out some guesswork. So hopefully that clarifies why you would want to use a UV sterilizer, mainly for things to get out of your water, purify your water. Now when I wouldn't recommend using a UV sterilizer is if you are trying to cycle your aquarium. I know it's kind of a bit of a catch-22 because I did say get it in there as a preventative before algae takes hold. But particularly if you're dosing uh, bottled bacteria supplements, then you don't really want to tip that into your water, have it run through a UV sterilizer because that's going to kill all of those supposed bacteria that came from the bottle. So what I'd probably do in that instance is set up the tank, fill it up full of water, dechlorinate and all those sorts of things, dump in some bottled bacteria or put in some established filter media 
and then give it a day or so before I put a UV sterilizer in there if I'm going to go that way. The other thing I mentioned was the difference between canister filter UV sterilizers and ones like this and I think the problem is is that you have to have a certain exposure time for something passing through a UV sterilizer to actually be entirely obliterated. Now UV sterilizers in canister filters, often the water is rushing past so, so fast that if you can kind of imagine it's just sort of getting burnt on the way through, it's not actually uh, doing any permanent damage or wiping out those bacteria and microbes and all those sorts of things. So I think that is one thing that can uh, limit the ability of canister filter UV sterilizers uh, and their effectiveness, but I still leave mine on anyway just because why not. Now the other benefit to a standalone unit like this, which will run through, I'll actually pull everything out of the box just to show you, but this guy here also has an indicator for when the UV sterilizer bulb needs replacing. A lot of people as well don't realize that that canister filter with the UV sterilizer that's been running for three or four years, you're actually supposed to replace those bulbs about every eight to 12 months, depending on use. So this guy here is gonna remind you because nobody can remember anything 12 months into the future. So I think that's a really handy feature. So let's jump over and take a look at what you get inside the box as we continue on with this video. Okay, so inside the green killing machine here, the Blue Planet U of U, as we open it up, we get a nice package with the contents. We also get a booklet of instructions in a variety of languages. So in terms of how it works, it's a super simple operation. You basically got a pump here at the top, which draws water through. You got an inlet here with the sponge covering so no fish can get in. And then inside this casing here, water's gonna have to run past that UV bulb and out back into our aquarium. It's honestly is about as simple as it can get. We've got an outlet here, which I believe just slots straight onto the top, just like so. We've got our uh, controller box here, which we're gonna feed the cable for our pump into and the cable for monitoring uh, the condition of our globe. And then that will just feed out to a simple AC adapter. Really, really nothing complicated whatsoever. We get some spare sponge coverings just because as we maintain those, you know, we're probably prone to losing them or um, accidentally throwing them out or whatever. So we get a bit of a spare spare packaging, but as far as it goes, you just got a large suction cup here to hold the base in place. You got three suction cups up higher to hold it onto the glass. And I believe as well, they slide up and down um, so that you can easily remove the unit. So that's how it works. Let's hook it up on an aquarium and we'll take a look at it in action. Alrighty guys, so I just got it installed over here on the aquarium. The um, control box as well does have a series of suction cups, so you can suction it usually to the side. I've just put it on the front of this aquarium for obviously demonstration purposes. Similarly, the unit, it's pretty compact and sleek, but I probably wouldn't recommend putting it on the front of your aquarium either. Obviously those things are just so that we can easily see what's going on. So a couple of things, you'll notice that it's super duper quiet. Uh, it's pretty much making no sound at all. We've got a simple but effective green indicator light there that's telling us that our UV bulb is working and in good condition. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Just one simple plug to put in and off you go, you're running. So what are the summary of the benefits of this unit? Well, it's gonna clean up any uh, free floating algae or microbes. Uh, it's going to provide some additional flow if you want that sort of thing. Uh, if you're going to put a little pump head in there anyway, you might as well attach it to a UV bulb. It's going to act as a great preventative for uh, bacterial uh, and parasitic uh, issues for your fish as well. And just overall, it's um, pretty handy. It takes all the five seconds to plug it in and you're off to the races. So what are the downsides? Uh, it's pretty cost prohibitive to some people. If you want to buy a unit like this, this is $100 and $99 from Aquarium Universe. Uh, you can get 10% off, I think, if you use my code. I think should be at the bottom now. Uh, the replacement bulbs as well are $65 each, which you'll need to do those every single year as soon as this light here does go to red. And um, a lot of people, I can understand there is expense to that, so I'd probably choose to use it sparingly. 
With that said, I do think it's an extremely powerful tool. Uh, if you've got some green water, wipes that out straight away. If you've got that tank that just always the fish are getting sick in there, it can be good to just whip one of these in there and make sure that there's gonna be nothing in the actual water that's causing the damage. Uh, as well as that, if you've got, as we mentioned, hyper-aggressive fish, African cichlids and that sort of thing, then it's a great preventative measure to stop any diseases and that sort of thing. So, so there you go guys, hopefully that has helped to clear up why you might want to use a UV sterilizer, what exactly that they do, and uh, when you might want to use one. Uh, if it has helped you out, it always helps me to smash like, hit subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.